Good, happy Sunday morning, January 19, 2020. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. We have a lot of news to get to this Sunday morning, so let's begin. First up, we begin with breaking news. Crews battled for alarm fire in Belmont. Multiple mutual aid called in from multiple departments. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Now, crews from multiple fire departments are still on the scene of this four alarm fire in Belmont. These are live pictures right now from the scene where firefighters are still working to put out hot spots. That fire broke out just before seven o'clock tonight. Our crew on that scene says it appears to have started in a barn and then spread to that home that you can see appears to be damaged there. The property is along Brown Hill Road and Ferrarville Road. According to dispatch logs, firefighters from Concord, Loudoun, New Durham, and Pittsfield responded. There's still no word yet on whether anyone was inside at the time. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Man killed in snowmobile crash in Startport. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. And now to breaking news out of Stratford, where a Rhode Island man was killed in a snowmobile crash today. New Hampshire Fish and Game identified the victim as 55-year-old Robert LeBlanc. Members of his riding party called 911 around noon. Crews from several towns responded using snowmobiles and an ATV to get to that victim. LeBlanc was pronounced dead at the hospital. Authorities say speed appears to be a factor in that crash. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Garage in Canyon destroyed in Blaze. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9. Firefighters say uh, several items were damaged after this garage fire on Goose Pond Road. You can imagine why. Look at those flames. Crews say flames started in a backhoe, spreading to the garage and a nearby home. They say it took over an hour to put that out. No one was hurt there. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Police seeks public help finding Roy Dawn man wanted on outstanding warrant. Here is a photo of that suspect wanted. Douglas Smith Jr. wanted. If you know where his whereabouts are or where he is, contact police. State police are seeking the public's help in finding a man wanted on two outstanding warrants. Police are looking for 31-year-old Douglas Smith Jr. of Croydon. He is wanted on 
two friendly domestic violence warrants, state police said in a press release. Police were searching in Croydon on Saturday for Smith. Smith is 5 feet 11 inches tall, 250 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. State police said in a press release that the public should not make contact with Smith if he's spotted, but should instead call law enforcement immediately. Anyone with information is asked to call State Police at 603-223-8494. Seabrook Police Missing Woman Found Safe This missing woman has been found safe Saturday, Seabrook police said. Presidential candidates among hundreds attending Women's March in New Hampshire. Let's take a listen to that video from WMUR News 9, Siobhan Lopez. This economy is not working for most of us. There is not one county in the United States of America where someone working full-time at the minimum wage can afford a two-bedroom apartment. The biggest problem in our economy is simple. People are not getting paid enough. Vote matters. <laughs> Calling for equal rights for all, hundreds gather at the State House in Concord for the Women's March an annual gathering across the country since President Donald Trump's 2017 inauguration. Young women today should know that it's been throughout history. It's not just a modern concept of women standing up. Um, and it has religious roots. And I think that's an important message as well. Presidential hopefuls from both sides of the aisle spending time here at the rally meeting with voters. This is my daughter, Caroline. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett introduces his oldest daughter as the Democrat engages voters on women's issues. I will fight to protect uh, women's rights to choose. I will appoint judges that will do the same. We'll have a justice department that fights for them. Many of us independents really appreciate it. Republican Bill Weld calls himself the alternative to Donald Trump. As governor of Massachusetts, his cabinet was mostly women. It's not just the reproductive rights. It's women in the workforce. It's women in government. It's women in foreign policy. We want a government that believes in compassion. At the march in Portsmouth, Democratic Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders addresses the crowd. We're going to end the disgrace of women making 79 cents on the dollar compared to men equal pay for equal work. Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And now let's take a look at your 2020 New Hampshire candidate tracker for today, January 19, 2020. And here's a look at that 2020 New Hampshire candidate tracker. We have three candidates in New Hampshire today. The first candidate that we are talking about is Michael Bennett. Michael Bennett has two events today in New Hampshire. His first event Presidential Forum Policy Forum at Portsmouth Public Library, Portsmouth, New Hampshire at 1.30 p.m. The second event is a house party in Bow, New Hampshire at 3.30 p.m. Bernie Sanders has one event today in New Hampshire. Town Hall at Tuckerman Brewing Company in Conway, New Hampshire at 2 p.m. And Telsey Gabbard, she has one event today in New Hampshire. Town Hall with Telsey and Jeff Jaffrey, New Hampshire. Today at 12.30 p.m. until 2 p.m. at the Shatka Golf Club. And those are all the candidates in New Hampshire today. 
And if you want to see that list again, just go to the Riley King Network Facebook page. Mysterious coronavirus kills two, sickens dozens. Let's take a listen to that video from ABC News. health scare, the respiratory virus outbreak coming from China, now setting off global concerns, at least two people dead and dozens sick, and we're learning of more confirmed cases. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, passengers are being screened at three U.S. airports for a new virus causing concerns among health officials. Passengers on direct or connecting flights from Wuhan, China, the outbreak city, screened at JFK last night, as well as San Francisco and Los Angeles today. The CDC says the mysterious coronavirus has sickened dozens of people in Asia with four new cases in China and is linked to two deaths. The patients who died were both older adults. The CDC adding that most of the individuals infected by the virus had exposure to live animals. It's still unclear if the virus spreads from person to person, but the CDC says that it may be possible. We don't know how this virus will behave. We don't know if it will change or mutate, which viruses can do. Experts say this new type of virus typically causes symptoms of the common cold, but can lead to pneumonia. Years ago, a few deadly cases of other types of coronaviruses surfaced, SARS in China and MERS in the Middle East. So the CDC is deploying 100 health experts to these three airports as an extra precaution. In the next few weeks, about 5,000 travelers will be screened for any signs of infection. Stephanie Ramos joins us now live from JFK Airport. And Stephanie, the CDC is calling this a dynamic situation, stressing there's a lot more they need to learn about this virus. That's exactly right, Tom. CDC officials say part of the screening process will be to take people's temperature, ask them about their travel history, and see if they have any symptoms like a cough or fever. They say the screening will take time. And they've even set up a special quarantine area here at JFK in case someone is carrying the virus. Tom. Stephanie, thank you. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And that does it for it. This morning edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you back here later on today for another newscast. And we'll have a news report coming up in a little bit. Goodbye and enjoy the rest of your Sunday morning.